I said a pint of bitter. What's the champagne for? I'll tell you what the champagne is for, Henry. We're about to celebrate the end of an era. I woke up this morning with a smile on my face and I suddenly realised I am over my ex-wife at last. I've got her completely out of my system. Oh, how did all this come about? Well, we were having dinner together last night, Henry. Right, the full romantic bit, you know, candles on the table and, and the wine wasn't plonk. And I looked at her and I suddenly felt a bit like I did when I, when I first met her, so I said, Susie, darling, I said, we've spent the first half of the night together. How about spending the second half at a hell with a Queen's Proctor? Now, you can't get more romantic than that, can you? No, of course not. <laughs> but in five minutes, we were at it hammer and tongs. I thought you said it was finished. No, having a row, Henry. Having a row. We were having a row. <laughs> about, about which bed we should sleep in. We, we can't spend two minutes together without rowing. I'm over her. I really am. Well, I must say, I'm glad to hear it, George. Yes, well, I've, I've been a bit of a wet blanket lately, haven't I? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, well, I'm just about uh, right to air myself. <laughs> you uh, had a bit of a message there, did you? A bit. The, uh, the depths were definitely staring there, Henry. Marvellous. You know, I must say, George, it's been a bit unnervy since you and Susie parted. Mm? Gorgeous girls passing in your eyeballs, not reacting. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Actually, Alec and Peter and a few others are going to a new discotheque tonight. Really? I had to come along. You try and keep me away, Henry. Right, we're popping a few pubs on the way. A pub crawl? Do you know I haven't been on a serious pub crawl for about eight years? Hi, Henry. Willie. Still on tonight? Yeah, better be. I just started George here drooling. Oh, sorry, you've never met George, have you? George Bassett, Willie White. Oh, how do you do? George is joining us tonight. Oh, good. It's his first night out for quite a while. He's uh, been married. Just divorced? Yeah. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> The worry lines will soon go. <laughs> Willie will tell you. Yes, I'll tell you all right. Believe me, old man, tonight you are standing on the threshold of a whole new life. Wine, women and song. Oh, wine, women and song, nothing. It's beer, birds and bedtime stories. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody back to my place? Yeah! So the vicar, the vicar said, I don't care how many apples you've pinched, keep your gorilla out of my onion patch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liz, where have, where have you two girls been all my life? Never mind where we've been, where are we going? <laughs> George, it's not where they've got for lost time. What's that, Henry? The animals went in two by two. What's he mean, George? Well done. Don't you worry your pretty little head, darling. What? Oh, oh, That's the only thing about Marge that's false. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, oh, there you are. That's it. It's not right. Well, it's nearly right. I didn't come as a sheepdog. I said, George, Willie was right, wasn't he? Willie was damn right, Henry. Look, you're... The place is a bit far out, so if you want to borrow my spare room... Well, I might, I might do, Henry. OK, you're on. Thanks very much. I won't charge you rent, just as long as I can take photographs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a burk, Alec. Just tell me where the phone this is. This is your dangerous corner. Everybody has one. You take the right turning here, you can be as happy as George and I are. Isn't that right, George? Look, have you ever walked out on your wife? Well, I'm, um, I'm divorced, actually. And he's a happy man, aren't you, George? I only left Hill tonight, and I didn't mean to go back to wherever, but suddenly I... I've told him if he goes back, he might as well lie down by the front door and write welcome all over his welcome. chest. Right I just chest. want to ring her. She'll tread all over you. Where's the phone? She'll have the whip hand. At this precise moment, she's welcome. Ah, oh, there. George, tell him. Yeah, tell, tell him what, tell him what, Willie. That it's a great lie. It's a great, great lie, Barry. It's a great no, lie. She doesn't look like something out of Magic Roundabout, does she? I tell I you know. what, she looks like. She looks, she looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, I, I take it off, but this frock clashes with my hair. Well, take your frock off, then, eh? <laughs> Sam, 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 Sam. Yes? Why don't you go and make it up with Peter? <laughs> Not while he's sniffing round sexy Susan. Susan's gone. She hasn't. I promise you. Oh, oh. excuse me. Hello, Hill. Y yes, I know it's late, darling, but listen. 
Where do you live then? Oh, long way away. <laughs> Listen, darling. Down on the farm. Well, nearly. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Can I have a dozen fresh eggs then? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know it's too late to say sorry. I'm mad about your moustache, George. Mm. I just want to say I still love you. Do you hear? Mm. Oh, more than before, darling, more than ever. Reminds me a bit of Robert Redford. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, don't cry, darling. Butch Cassidy, remember? Mm. Please. Mm. He's very sexy. Don't you think he's very sexy, George? Well, I don't, I don't go for men all that often, yes. Look, <laughs> I think he's gorgeous. I'll come home now this minute. Mm. I've never kissed a moustache before, George. Oh, I love you so much, mm. darling. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I kissed a beard once, mm. just a beard. I, uh, I didn't fancy it much, and afterwards it, it no. looked as if I had the barber's rash. No, never again, I promise. <laughs> Yours is quite soft, though, isn't well, it's it? Well, it's fairly, fairly soft. I'll yeah. see you soon, darling. Mm. Goodbye. Bet you in half an hour's time they'll be knocking hell out of each other. <laughs> Mart! I'm engaged! To Peter? Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, and guess what? what? He asked me. Oh, let's tell Willie he'll open a bottle of champagne. Willie! Oh! oh. When you get your double bed, can I have your electric blanket? <laughs> Somebody call? Yeah, Marge, Marge called. Well, sit there, sit down, sit down, will you? Listen, Samantha and Peter just, just got, got engaged, the idiots, and they, hey, they, they don't know what they're letting themselves in for. And Alec is on the phone here, getting back onto his wife. Now she'll be treading all over him within ten minutes, will he? They could have had, could have had a new life like us. The new life? It's living death. Fun. Oh, it's just that every day I just think about my lovely Pamela and every night I dream about her. I mean, if she'd have me back, I'd go back to her on any terms. She'd shred all over you, oh, she could just... jump up and down on me, too, for all I care. No, but you, you yes, said I know I wrong. said it, but the, I was trying the... to convince myself. But every night when I get back here and I've had a few and I'm on my own... Yeah, well, you don't have to be on your own, do you? I mean, you know, what about the bedtime story? Who wants to have anything? breakfast opposite a face you can't even put a name to? Hmm? I mean, the only face I want across my cornflakes is my lovely Pamela. I'll never have the joy and the pleasure of that ever... <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, it's all right. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you, you'll, feel, you'll feel better in the morning, will you? Won't you? Feel, better. feel better? Every day is worse than the last. <laughs> Loneliness is a pain. It's a nagging pain. You can't just have it out like a tooth. I wish you hadn't said all that, Willie. Oh, do stop talking about wishing. I spent my life wishing, wishing that I hadn't taken Pam for granted, yeah. wishing I'd never let her go. I, 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 I shouldn't have let Susie go. I mean, you it, know that. she warned me time and time again that yeah, I was killing Su the marriage. Su Susie warned me, you know. I mean, did Susie. I listen? I didn't. No, I not, didn't listen. No, me, and I made her cry so often. I, do you know, Susie cried quite a bit when... I uh, said such terrible things well, to it, her. Well, it couldn't have been worse oh, than some probably. of the things I said, Willie. Do you, you know that when she left, I said to myself... Good riddance. Good riddance. Good riddance. <laughs> I mean, I must have been, I must have been mad. Well, I've been absolutely positive. Right up to the decree, absolute. I didn't feel a pang. Well, well I've got that to come, you mm. see, Willie, because we haven't had our absolute yet. You haven't? Mm. You lucky devil. I am lucky, aren't George, I? George, go back to her. I'm going to go back to her. Do, do you, you know, know where she's that? living? <laughs> Next door. What? <laughs> no, no. Next door to me. It's a very long you story. You go and make it up with her. I'm going to make it up. I mean, she up. may tread on you a little bit. I wouldn't mind her treading. I wouldn't you, mind. You stick to her yeah. and cherish her. Do you know what I'm going to do with it? What? I'm going to I'm going to ring her up now, right? Right? George. Yeah? Luck. Listen, if, 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 if Alec can do it on the phone, so can I, right? They made it up, did they? They did. They did, bless her. I was sitting here, listening to it. It was the most moving thing I've sat through since Love Story. You know? <laughs> Let's start. You'll get me going again. Sorry. 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 What are they? Hello? Susie? George here, darling. George Bassett. <laughs> yeah, pun? <coughs> it's quarter past ten. D uh, Ten to three. <laughs> hmm? you, no, you weren't asleep or anything, were you, sweetheart? Well, I'll tell you why I rang, darling. <laughs> Alex's didn't go like that. 
She was angry with you, wasn't she? She was, she was blazing there down the foot. She was blazing. She hung up on you. She swore at me, Willie. He sounds a tough cookie. Oh, she, she is. She, my, no, she's a beautiful girl, mind you. I mean, she's got a wonderful personality and, uh, and a marvellous sense of humour, but underneath it all... She's a tough she's cookie. She's a tough cookie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's she be like in the morning? She won't be laughing. No? No, because uh, we, we had a row last night. Bad one? Well, you'd have thought we, thought we were still married. Where's the decree absolutely? Next week. I'm not going to let it happen, will I? I'm going to, I'm going to get her back. I'm, I'm, I don't want to look at empty faces over sure. cornflake packets in the morning. Tell it. Tell me, has she, uh, she got a streak? Pardon? Susie, is she a jealous? Oh, well, yeah, she's my wife. Yeah, yeah. well, that, yeah. that, that's it. Is it? Yeah, make her jealous. What of? Another woman. I don't know any other women, really. Well, you and Marge weren't exactly strangers just now. Oh, no. No, listen, oh. I don't think she'd believe in me and Marge, you see, because, I mean, yeah. she'd think I deserved her. She, <laughs> she, she knows my type. <laughs> and Marge isn't yours. Not mine. <laughs> uh, Mind you, yeah. if I came home with one of, the, one of those model, model girls, you know what I mean? Tall, willowy, and uh, permanent smell under her nose, you know, that's... Uh, she'd swallow that. She'd choke on that. Well, one. try it, then. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow morning, just start to drop the old hints in. All right. Willie, yeah. really? really? yeah. Sam and Peter have got engaged. Yes, we know. Don't we, we, know. we heard all about we that, didn't we? Yeah, you know what? I'm going home now, Will. I'm going home. I'll get my coat, then. Um. Sorry, Marge. No fresh eggs, then? Not today. George. Mm. Good luck in the Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Robert Redford had never done that. There's plenty of room here, Marge. Okay, Willie. Just as long as you don't grumble at me over the breakfast table again. <laughs> by ringing me up at 10 to 3 in the morning. Yes, I'm sorry about that. It's just that I, I, I wanted to share this, this marvellous news with you. I couldn't actually. get back to sleep again, you know, George. Oh. I had to make a hot drink and take a pill. Mm. And then when I eventually did drop it's off... marvellous news. I was immediately this. wakened when your car hit my dustbin. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> there was a reason, you see. You were drunk. About you um, always ring me when you're drunk. Other people fall on the floor or try to make love. You make telephone calls. I, yeah, I wanted to tell you about this, uh, this marvellous uh, marvelous girl I met. And I want to tell you what I'm doing today. She's a fabulous girl. I am seeing my solicitor and tall, asking him to apply for the decree absolute. And a smell under her nose. Which Pardon? will end this ridiculous <laughs> uh, she, uh, she's, a model, she's a model girl, you see. Who is? Uh, this, uh, this, this girl I met last night. Oh, the one you rang me about. Yeah, oh, well, she's my, she's my, my, my type, definitely. Then yes. I hope you'll both be very happy. You don't believe me, do you? Frankly, no. I'm, I promise you, Susie. I promise you, she's, she's, she's tall, willowy, and, she, and she's got a permanent smell under her nose. Shall she's I tell you why I don't believe you? Um, she's a model Because in girl, all the years I've known you, George, model. tall, willowy girls have always given you the cold shoulder. And she's been in a few You got almost the well, same actually. treatment from short, fat girls, mm. which, <laughs> although I valued your fidelity, George, was something of a disappointment. Yeah, it was, it was a bit like having your eye on something in the January sales. They open the doors, Everybody dashes in, you rush to your chosen bargain, snatch it up and turn round triumphantly, only to find that everybody else is fighting over other counters. It's disappointing, George. Awfully disappointing. I'm going to have to have a talk with Willie. <laughs> No matter what she said, George, the most important thing is that you sowed the seed this morning. I sowed it on bloody stony ground, Willie. Well, she's probably... <laughs> she's probably brooding over it at this very moment. I mean, you told me yourself she's been disappointed in you all these years because no other females ever goosed you. I mean, it couldn't have come at a better time. Well, I couldn't. You're meeting this tall model. But I haven't met a tall model, Willie. <laughs> no, but you've told Susie you have. All mm. you've got to do is to keep it up. But how am I going to keep it up without a girl? Evidence. Pardon? Evidence. Lipstick on the collar, blonde hair on the shoulder, uh, a photograph sign, love from Laura. Let's do it again. Let's do it again? Uh, leave, <laughs> leave a scented letter lying around the place. Ah, a scented letter? Get one yes. of your mates to ring up and pretend to be her. I mean, there's a million and one things, yes, George. Yes, yes, thanks very much. If eh? you do it well enough, you probably won't even want to meet this girl. She'll probably say, George, don't make a fool of yourself. Let's yeah. try again. Then you can flash that brave smile of yours and say, yes, let's. I'll have lunch with Laura tomorrow and... Tell her it's all over. I come out of it rather well, don't I? 
<laughs> yeah, it's just like Noddy. <laughs> And then if you uh, ever have a sticky time in the marriage don't again, you, of course... Tell me. All I have to say is, um, I, um, I bumped into Laura again today. <laughs> <laughs> Liz? Sorry, I'm late. Five minutes, Liz. Oh. Got a lot to be done. Uh, I know, I was held up. Had a lot to be done. Really? Mm. Oh, right. I'm ready. What do you want to start with? Will you put some fresh lipstick on, please? What? Oh, sorry. Good. <clears throat> now, if you would just put a smudge of lipstick on my collar, please. Pardon? Yes, just, um, just there, if, if, you, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. I got this from the from the press office. Would you would you write on the bottom of that, please, Liz? Write what? Love from Laura. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call that very scented, would you? Not very. No. Excuse me. <laughs> get, 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 get you some more next week. Now, uh, where were we? <clears throat> Love from Laura. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. Yes, comma. Comma. Soon. Soon. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and often. And, uh, often. <laughs> yes, full stop. Full stop. And, and, and a, few, a few kisses at, at the bottom there, if you, if you wouldn't mind it. <laughs> right. Well, take, take, take a, a letter in longhand on the, on the scented paper, please, Miss Marsh. Ready? My darling man. <laughs> put it down, put it down. Last night was the sheerest heaven. The day... Oh, by, by the way, while I remember, uh, make a note to ring me at home at uh, 7.30, please. What, what about? Uh, nothing. When I answer, hang up. <laughs> Last night uh, was sheer heaven. Today has been the loneliest day. Uh, what, what's the name of the, of the blonde girl in, in uh, advertising? Penny Wilson. Uh, Penny Wilson, yes. When you finish the letter, would you pop along to Penny Wilson and ask if I can borrow one of her hairs? I don't want to make any mistakes. Uh, no need to be confused, Liz. Just uh, ring me, ring me at seven thirty, and and then hang up. Seven thirty. Yes, hang up. And, ha uh, hang uh, up. Uh, that's right. And uh, uh, look, I'm not, I'm not stopping you from going out, am I, Liz? Going out? <laughs> I'm not only staying in tonight, Mr. Bassett. I'm locking all the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I was ex expecting uh, somebody else, actually. Oh. Yes. So somebody, somebody, somebody else. You just said that. Pardon? Ah. A girl. A girl. Mm. Three cheers for heterosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to apologise, actually, for uh, for last night. You already did. Uh, yes, but it was all a bit rushed this morning. Wasn't yes. It? Well, mm. I was in a hurry, George, to get to my solicitor. Uh, oh, really? Uh, it's all arranged. Well, that's that's nice, isn't it? The decree absolute, is it? That's right. Good. Next Monday. M Monday. Uh, th then it'll be... Uh... Absolute. Mm. Well, all the more reason for you to, to, to pop in, then. Hmm? Pop in? Yes, well, you know, to hell with the, the Queen's Proctor and let, let's have a, a, a drink to toast the last cog, right? <laughs> all right. Good. As long as it's just the two of us. Uh, at the moment it is, yes, yes. 
Now then, uh, what, what, what do you like to drink? Uh, you, usual? Oh, you haven't forgotten. Uh, forgotten? Well, with so many other females' tastes to remember. Oh, uh, well, just, uh, just, just the one. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, do sit down, will you? Thank you. Um, the, uh, that, that's much less lumpy, that one. Oh, I don't mind a few lumps, George. Not with the possibility of everything being smoothed out on Monday. <laughs> yes, I think then that this, uh, farce of sharing the same room could decently end. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, well, of course, I'm not, uh, I I'm not going to be house hunting again, you know that, don't you? Oh, no, George. Well, I mean, I didn't really expect the gentleman to be. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I, uh, I popped in to see some estate agents oh, after really? I'd been to the solicitors, yes. 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 And uh, they asked me where would I like to live, and I said, well, where was I living now? And mm. they said, southwest. So I said, northeast, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What? A little, uh, little billy do. I <laughs> hope you didn't read any of that. No, I didn't, actually. Good. <laughs> Which was funny, since you've been kicking it round the table. <laughs> silly, silly child. Ah, oh, she's, she's so affectionate. <laughs> silly child. How's your drink? Oh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Quite sure. It's a bit, uh, bit hot in here. Mm. Fine, a bit warm. Mandy doesn't make that lipstick on your collar runny. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Oh, what happens? <laughs> How long have I been going round like that? Since your last passionate clinch, I should imagine. Yes, yes. And there's a hair on my shop. There's a hair. <laughs> oh, I didn't see any hair. Didn't you? Was there one? Yes, it was one just. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> might, have, might have been one. Uh... Scented. Uh, how common. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely name, Laura. It's... Hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> It's me, Willie. I've just worked out another wonderful wrinkle. Uh, well, I've, got, I've got enough wrinkles going for me at the moment, thanks, Do you always call your boyfriend's darling? Well, I was ex expecting somebody else to ring, actually. Oh, yes, the scented letter writer with the greasy lipstick. <laughs> well, I must go, George. Oh, not, not yet. Uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't toasted the last cog, have we? I'm oh, sorry, I've no, no more bitter lemon. Uh, tonic, all right. Oh, well, I would prefer bitter lemon if you've got it. Ah. It suits the occasion more, don't you think? <laughs> well, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just see if we've got any in the, uh, in the kitchen. Hello? <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Liz. No, it isn't! <laughs> Thank you. It's Liz, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bassett, I'm sorry. I didn't expect that. Uh, hello, darling. Somebody, somebody said it was Liz. I, co I couldn't think who that was for a second, and I suddenly remembered that's that's uh, my pet name for you, isn't it? Shall I hang up now? Uh, yes, certainly, certainly. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm uh, awfully, awfully sweet of you to send that uh, note. I'm, n I'm not going to pay any attention to half the things you say, but it's uh, very nice of you to say them all the same. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll see you later on, darling. You're obviously going to be very busy, George, so I'll... You, uh, you, you, you believe in her now, then, do you? Oh, yes. Well, you didn't... didn't this morning. Well, I did, actually. After I left you, well, I mean, you, you wouldn't have rung me up in the middle of the night for nothing. No, no. And, uh, by the time I got to the office, I was, I was quite depressed. Really? It's where well, you'd obviously found somebody you were serious about, and... Do you know, George, I... I suddenly felt desperately lonely. Did you, did you wear it? Huh? Oh, I was really on the floor. Big black clouds everywhere. So, well, oh. that's, that's why I was so glad to bump into Harry Marchant. Pardon? <laughs> you remember Harry Marchant, George? Well, um, yes, I uh, uh, vaguely, vaguely remember him, yes. Well, tall, wavy brown hair, awfully good looking. Yes, all right, all right, I can remember him, yes, yes. Well, he'd, um, he'd heard about us, of course, and I told him that it was all over by the shouting, and, uh, well, funnily enough, an affair of his had just finished, so... Well, I asked him to dinner, and he jumped at it. Yeah, from what I've heard of Harry March, you give him half a chance, he'll be jumping at you. <laughs> yeah, well, he always was very athletic. Mm. <laughs> Don't look so glum, George. You're all right, and I've got Harry March and... Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not all right. I, uh, 
I haven't got a girlfriend. What? No, actually, I, I, um, I, I made her up. <laughs> I made her up to, uh, to, to, to try and make you jealous. You see. <laughs> you. You made up. Liz Nowitz, yes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's made, made up. The photograph. It's all. It's all. It's all made. Up <laughs> and the letter. I made that up. And the, and the lipstick and the hair on the collar. Oh, but was... there wasn't any hair on your collar. There, there, there was. I borrowed one. It, it fell off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about that phone call just now? Uh, that, that was, uh, that, that was my secretary. Liz. Liz. No, it isn't. <laughs> well, why did you ring me up in the middle of the night, then? Well, I, uh, I was actually ringing up to say, how about trying again? You won't. I was at this party, you see, and I was missing you very much. Oh, George. Oh. <laughs> I've been a bloody fool. You've been a bloody great liar. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's, it's the truth now. Promise? Cross my broken heart. George, mm. do you really want to try again? Do you? <laughs> We're going to upset a lot of people, darling. Oh, who? Well, solicitors, estate agents, Harry Martin. Harry Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you'd better come to dinner too. Harry Martin and and myself for dinner. Mm. Intercept his long jump. <laughs> Harry Martin. Oh, George, look, I can't bear to I'll come round, you, darling. Will you? I promise you, I'll come round. Oh, Harry. Oh, George, look, I, I, must, I must fly. All right, darling. Listen, I'll, I'll come soon. Yes, please, very soon. Almost immediately, <sighs> sweetheart. Hello, darling. <laughs> George, uh, who, who is this person? I'm Laura. Who are you? I don't know anybody called Laura. <laughs> no, 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 please, George. Darling, I promise you, I don't know anybody. Shh, pardon. Willie sent me. Blast, Willie! <laughs> Willie? No, I don't want to hear any more, George. Really, I promise really, I don't, you, I don't you, know you, who this lady. Go away. I've never seen. Will you go away? Darling, Willie sent it. Hello, George. Harry Marchant, you do remember? Yes, yes, I, rem I remember you. Oh, I, rem I remember. Having a spot of dinner with your ex-wife? She's not my ex-wife, not yet. Not until Monday. Not, and probably not even, not even then. I have myself to a drink. I hope you don't mind. D Harry, Harry, look, you, you, you have her. She's, uh, she's a marvellous girl. She's, she's very accommodating. I beg your pardon. Hello, Harry. Do come in. Hi. Harry, no jumping. <laughs> I'm going to have to have another talk with Willie. 